and welcome to week 17 of a year of wisdom. I'm not usually in my car, I know, but it's been a crazy life this past month and a half. Let's get to reading. Day 119, Job 39 and 40. Do you know when the mountain goats give birth? Do you observe the calving of the deer? Can you number the months that they fulfill? And do you know the time when they give birth? When they crouch to give birth to their offspring and are delivered of their young? Their young ones become strong. They grow up in the open. They go forth and do not return to them. Who's let the wild ass go free? Who has loosed the bonds of the swift ass to which I have given the step for its home? the salt land for its dwelling place. It scorns the tumult of the city. It does not hear the shouts of the driver. It ranges the mountains as its pasture, and it searches after every green thing. Is the wild ox willing to serve you? Will it spend the night at your crib? Can you tie it in the furrow with ropes, or will it harrow the valleys after you? Will you depend on it because its strength is great, and will you hand over your labor to it? Do you have faith in it that it will return and bring your grain to your threshing floor? The ostrich's wings flap wildly, though its pinions lack plumage, for it leaves its eggs to the earth and lets them be warmed on the ground, forgetting that a foot may crush them and that a wild animal may trample them. It deals cruelly with its young, as if they were not its own. Though its labor should be in vain, yet it has no fear, because God has made it forget wisdom and given it no share in understanding. When it spreads its plumes aloft, it laughs at the horse and its rider. Do you give the horse its might? Do you clothe its neck with mane? Do you make it leap like the locust? Its majestic snorting is terrible. It paws violently, exults mightily. It goes out to meet the weapons. It laughs at fear and is not dismayed. It does not turn back from the sword. Upon it rattled the quiver, the flashing spear, and the javelin. With fierceness and rage it swallows the ground. It cannot stand still at the sound of the trumpet. When the trumpet sounds, it says, Aha! From a distance it smells the battle, the thunder of the captains, and the shouting. Is it by wisdom that the hawk soars and spreads its wings toward the south? Is it at your command that the eagle mounts up and makes its nest on high? It lives on the rock and makes its home in the fastness of the rocky crag. From there it spies the prey. Its eyes see it from far away. Its young ones suck up blood, and where the slain are, there it is. And the Lord said to Job, Shall a fault finder contend with the Almighty? Anyone who argues with God must respond. Then Job answered the Lord, See, I am of small account. What shall I answer you? I lay my hand on my mouth. I have spoken once and will not answer twice, but will proceed no further. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind. Gird up your loins like a man. I will question you and you declare to me. Will you even put me in the wrong? Will you condemn me that you may be justified? Have you an arm like God, and can you thunder with a voice like his? Deck yourself with majesty and dignity. Clothe yourself with glory and splendor. Pour out the overflowings of your anger, and look on all who are proud and abase them. Look on all who are proud and bring them low. Tread down the wicked where they stand. Hide them all in the dust together. Bind their faces in the world below. Then I will also acknowledge to you that your own right hand can give you victory. Look at Behemoth, which I made just as I made you. It eats grass like an ox. Its strength is in its loins, and its power in the muscles of its belly. It makes its tail stiff like a cedar. The sinews of its thighs are knit together. Its bones are tubes of bronze, its limbs like bars of iron. It is the first of the great acts of God. Only its maker can approach it with the sword. 
For the mountains yield food for it where all the wild animals play. Under the lotus plants it lies, in the covert of the reeds and in the marsh. The lotus trees cover it for shade. The willows of the wadi surround it. Even if the river is turbulent, it is not frightened. It is confident, though Jordan rushes against its mouth. Can one take it with hooks or pierce its nose with a snare? Proverbs 29 One who is often reproved, yet remains stubborn, will suddenly be broken beyond healing. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked rule, the people groan. A child who loves wisdom makes a parent glad, but to keep company with prostitutes is to squander one's substance. By justice, a king gives stability to the land, but one who makes heavy exactions ruins it. Whoever flatters a neighbor is spreading a nap for the neighbor's feet. In the transgression of the evil, there is a snare, but the righteous sing and rejoice. The righteous know the rights of the poor. The wicked have no such understanding. Scoffers set a city aflame, but the wise turn away wrath. If the wise go to law with fools, there's ranting and ridicule without relief. The bloodthirsty hate the blameless, and they seek the life of the upright. A fool gives full vent to anger, but the wise quietly holds it back. If a ruler listens to falsehood, all his officials will be wicked. The poor and the oppressor have this in common. The Lord gives light to the eyes of both. If a king judges the poor with equity, his throne will be established forever. The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a mother is disgraced by a neglected child. When the wicked are in authority, transgression increases, but the righteous will look upon their downfall. Discipline your children and they will give you rest. They will give delight to your heart. When there is no prophecy, the people cast off restraint. The happier are those who keep the law. By mere words, servants are not disciplined, for though they understand, they will not give heed. Do you see someone who is hasty in speech? There's more hope for a fool than for anyone like that. A slave pampered from childhood will come to a bad end. One given to anger stirs up strife, and the hothead causes much transgression. A person's pride will bring humiliation, but one who is lowly in spirit will obtain honor. To be a partner of a thief is to hate one's own life. One hears the victim's curse, but discloses nothing. The fear of others lays a snare, but one who trusts in the Lord is secure. Many seek the favor of a ruler, but it is from the Lord that one gets justice. The unjust are an abomination to the righteous but the upright are an abomination to the wicked. And as always, I am super grateful for you being here today. Don't forget to hit subscribe right there and click the bell and hit that like button too. And I will see you tomorrow for another reading. Maranatha. My head's completely full and my heart is worry worn. I know without a doubt You'll carry me out of the storm I'm standing at the crossroads I'm lost without a clue I need a big pink neon sign To show me what to do I thank you Lord it glorifies you when you're the only answer. I praise you, Lord, for holding what's too much for me. And I'm amazed by you, Lord, because nothing's too big and nothing's too small to lay at your door.